What should Erie look like in the next five years, and how should we use federal dollars to get there? That's the purpose of the city's five-year plan, and your thoughts will matter in the coming months. Chelsea Withers now joins us with a look at how this five-year plan will work. Chelsea. Jill, the plan will serve as a blueprint as to where those federal funds will go, starting from July 1st of this year through June of 2025. The City of Erie has begun the process of preparing its five-year consolidated plan for the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. But before a draft is completed, the public has a chance to speak out. We provide emergency shelter, but the goal ultimately is to get people into permanent housing and out of shelter. And in, ter in order to do that, I think affordable housing really needs to be a high priority. The city will work with Mullen and Longergan for this project to identify what the housing and community developed needs are. Before finalizing the plan, the accessibility of city housing is something that will be looked into. We see a lot of changes in um, people not being able to afford uh, housing in the city, even uh, in Erie and all across the country. Housing affordability has really changed over the last uh, five, seven years. Uh, and as well as the uh, real needs for uh, what we call special needs housing. As for what some other areas the city will hope to include in the plan. I would like to see us pivot more towards economic development funding. Historically, we haven't really dedicated those funds towards economic development. So I think we need to make a, a, a pivot towards that, but also still be able to support the other ongoing community development projects. A draft will be available for public display around March 16th. For more on how you can share your opinion about the funds, you can head to our website, yourerie.com. Okay, Chelsea Withers, thank you.